हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज एक्सक्लूजन प्रिंसिपल दिस प्रिंसिपल इज यूज इन द बेसिक एल्गोरिदम यूज दैट इज पीपीएम दैट इज प्रिडिक्शन विद पार्शियल मैच एज यू ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट एल्गोरिदम ओके इन दैट वी टेक सम सीक्वेंस ओके एंड देन वी एज्यूम सम दैट वी ऑलरेडी एनकोर सम सीक्वेंस एंड वी क्रिएट द सम ऑर्डर कॉन्टेक्ट सम ऑर्डर लेवल कॉन्टेक्स टेबल एंड देन अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट टेबल वी आर गोइंग टू वी एनकोर द होल सीक्वेंस सो दैट प्रिंसिपल दिस प्रिंसिपल द मेन और यू कैन से द मेन आइडिया बिहाइंड दिस प्रिंसिपल इज दैट इट इज यूज इन पीपीएम दैट इज प्रिडिक्शन विद पार्शियल मैच एल्गोरिदम प्रिडिक्शन विद पार्शियल मैच so it is used in ppm uh, which provides which provides the rate of reduction uh, which provide the rate sorry we can say uh, we uh, this provide the reduction in rate or we can say sorry it is used in ppm that is prediction with partial match which provides a reduction in the in the rate okay it in the rate so by using this principle by using this principle we can reduce the rate in the case of ppm algorithm which is used in the basic algorithm the basic idea behind this principle is that as we already done the arithmetic coding what we have done in the arithmetic coding in the arithmetic coding we divide the we divide the unit interval that is 0 to 1 into sub intervals okay so in the arithmetic coding we divide the unit interval into the sub interval which each of which represent a particular letter all the sub interval represent the particular letter second point is the smaller the sub interval the smaller the sub interval the more bits are required the more bits are required to distinguish it from the other sub interval so in this we can reduce so if we can reduce reduce the number of symbols if we can reduce the number of symbol to be represented to be represented then the then the number of sub intervals then the number of sub intervals goes down as well goes down as well so which with this in turn means that the size of the sub inter size of the sub interval increases leading to a reduction in the number of bits required for encoding so that the same principle which we applied in the arithmetic coding now we are applying to the exclusion principle in which we reduce the rate so how we reduce this rate in case of a uh, ppm which is used in basic algorithm that reduction in rate is called the exclusion principle we take an example for uh, discussing in detail suppose we have a let have a letter probability p r o b a b l i t y this is a whole sequence we have to be encode by using the basic algorithm with the ppm algorithm with the ppm approach that is the prediction with partial match now suppose we uh, we i am assuming that the, with the whole sequence i am taking the letter p r o b a and the next letter i have to be encoded is a so for this letter a the two order context is o b and the one order context is b so i have to to create a table for the two order context and for the one order context for this letter a so how we created c first uh, this is the count uh, exclusion prince exclusion example for the two letter context the letter the sequence is p r o b a this letter a i have to be encoded so for this letter a the two order context is ob so the order context is ob the symbols are l o these are some symbols that uh, that is that are encountered in the whole sequence and for that sequence for the symbols these are some counts we have also provide a an escape value 
that is true and the total count value is 15 so how this table is created we already discussed in our basic algorithm uh, basic algorithm uh, in that approach in that algorithm we already discussed now for this letter a the two order context is ob so we create this table for that now for this letter a the reduce now we reduce the order uh, size of the context so after two order context now we create the one order context so for a symbol the one order context is b so we create this table for that the context is b these are some letter which has to be uh, encountered for the whole sequence and these are some count and the total count principle is 21 total count is 21 suppose now we are trying to encode the letter a so for the letter a first we attempt first we attempt to encode a with a two order context table as see here a does not occur in this context so for, for that case we issue an escape simple and reduce the size of the context as all, I will repeat again, if I am uh, encoding the letter A, so we first see that A is encountered in the two order context table or not. So in, in the given example, the A is not encountered in this letter, in this uh, table for the order two order context is OB. So we provide or we issue an escape symbol for that. Okay. And do some calculation in the similar manner as we have done in the PPM in the basic algorithm. Now we uh, reduce the size of the context. That is means if we are not, if the letter is no, A, if not encountered in the two order context, then we size the reduce the uh, context order that is one. So for the A letter, the first order context is B. So now we see that A is encountered in the first order context. So looking at the table for the one letter order context, we see that A occur with the count of four and the total count is 21. So with this value and with this value, we calculate the updated value of LNU as we already discussed in the PPM algorithm. So therefore, how, uh, however, by sending the escape symbol, escape, uh, sending the escape symbol in the context of OB, we have already signaled to the decoder that the symbol being encoded is not any of the letter that is previously encountered in the context or in the two order context of OB. Therefore, we can size the, increase the size of the sub interval which are corresponding uh, to A but temporarily removing, see here, we uh, in this uh, table for the one letter context order, A is encountered. Now we, delete, now we reduce temporarily reduce the this letter L and O from the table and we get this table uh, context is sorry this is context B this now the symbol uh, remaining symbols are A, R and E and escape so for uh, if we compare this table to this table uh, we reduce uh, we discard a letter a symbol L and O temporarily okay and we get this table this. So instead of using this table, we use this table to encode A. So this exclusion of exclusion of symbol from the context on a temporary basis. What is it, uh, uh, we what uh, we exclude the symbol temporarily? The letter L and letter O. So these two letters are temporarily excluded from the table. So this result in significant this result in saving in terms of rate. So this is called the exclusion principle. So what is exclusion principle? Which uh, so uh, we in in order to reduce the rate, we discard or we reduce or we uh, eliminate some letters, okay, from the context which is not already be used. So this exclusion, this exclusion of symbol is called as a exclusion principle, which is main the main purpose of this exclusion principle is that it reduce the rate. So I hope you understand this exclusion principle and if you have any query then you can ask in our comment section and uh, if you like our video then please subscribe our channel and share it your friends to your classmates. Thanks for watching.